Okay, here we are, stage two. So, just to recap, I pull the gun down, put it in our 202 dip and strip. I've neutralised it now with our M10. So we're going to go about putting the gun together, and I'll talk your way through it. I'll talk my way through it. Just before you start pulling your gun down, there's no point doing this whole thing if you're going to just drop your gun in amongst any dirt or uh, leftovers from your dirty gun. So just keep your workbench as clean as you can. Get a fresh rag. And off we go. So now the gun's all neutralised, so you don't have any of that dip and strip in the gun anymore. You're starting off with a clean canvas. This is your cartridge or your outside cartridge for your inline filter for a pressure pot. Like I said, with your fluid tip, don't use any abrasive paper. You don't need to do that. Otherwise, you're just going to destroy that fluid tip or fluid needle. Now, you just give them a quick wipe down because uh, you can dry them off afterwards anyway. So you've noticed I'm still wearing the glasses and the gloves because I'm still dealing with chemicals and uh, it's just good to have a good safety work practice going on straight away. So having a look at this, now that was quite, well it was clear when we started and I'll stir it up and you can just see all the crap at the bottom of it. That's off your gun, and that eventually will go on to your job. So, I don't know about you guys, but that's the last thing I'd want. And don't forget, like this is not a one hit wonder 202. You can uh, put a cone strainer, drop it back into whatever container, whether it's a four, you can buy them in four litres, 20 litres, and it's reusable. So the strainer will pick up all the crap that the gun's dropped off, and um, you're good to go again. All right, now I'm gonna take my gloves off because I've stopped using any solvents. So what we're gonna do is just work our way, like we're going backwards now. This is one of the parts that have the rubber O-ring. This stuff's called inox. It's just a gun lubrication for making life easier when you're putting your gun back together. Now with this, everything should be just coming back together smoothly. If it doesn't go in straight away, stop and start all over again, especially when it's got to do with plastic threads and I don't use too much power it's just a, a nip up and uh, you just don't have to be gun ho with it try not to drop anything So this is the inner works of your trigger. Put it in that way. And like I said, everything should go in quite smoothly. When you've got a spring, I always put my thumb on the bottom of this fitting because the last thing you want, this is a good example, see, like I'm cross, it's jumping across the thread. So just be patient and you'll find it. really really easy and the more you do it 
the better you get. Now, like, that's it. No power involved, just a nip up, and uh, you're good to go. So, now we put this guy in here, just a little bit of lube. This is just the pin for your trigger. Now your packing gland. Remember you don't stick this into any 202 different strip, you basically just slightly give it a bit of a clean. Now I'm not nipping that up yet because best to put your fluid needle in. Now I'm putting the trigger in it. God for that magnetic bolt. This is a tricky one. Been doing this for 30 years and I don't know how many times these little split washers have shot off. some patience. Done. See, not a lot of power used to put the gun together. You really don't have to. They're a fine tool and a very important tool for your trade. Now that's for your controlling your air. That was lightly cleaned as well. I didn't stick it and let it sit into the 202. Gave her a light brush and it's Happy days. With your, with your uh, spanners too, good to have two with you at all times. And if you feel like it's going to slip, don't take the risk and burr it because that'll uh, end badly for you when you go to do your next gun service because it's only going to get worse. Air caps back on, your fluid nozzles back in there. Don't forget I haven't nipped up that packing gland yet. Now, obviously when you service your gun, you're going to put a new inline filter in it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Everything was done with soft hands because this, these guns aren't, they're not like a jackhammer or anything. So you've got to be, you know, uh, soft, soft approach really. The cleaning product does all the hard work, as you saw before. I, because we're doing this video, you normally, I let them sit there for about 15 minutes. I come back, lightly give them a, a tickle with the, the uh, tools that you get in that tool cleaning kit and then that helps break all that residue off it and uh, then you just go through the process. Now eventually you're going to throw it in and neutralize it so you don't have the 202 on your gun um, because it'll still work overnight but you don't need to because as you can see 
This gun is probably, oh, I'd say this would be over two years old, this gun, and it's beautiful. Um, like I said, this customer really does look after his guns, but I just asked if I could do a demo on his one in particular, but I've worked with guns that are absolutely brutalized and they come up like new. Okay, so that's it for the gun maintenance. My name's Ian, I'm one of the tech reps here at EVIC. Now don't forget, um, feel free to drop us a line and uh, you can talk to us about uh, gun cleaning techniques, little tricks, but I sort of ran it through you from the start to the very end. So hope that helps you guys and girls out. Anyway, spray safe and I'll talk to you guys soon.